Hello, Facebook. Still waiting for some cunt from Facebook. You've only got 36,000 star to contact me by video chat. And then I can insert, and if you are being hacked by Nigerian fucking scam terrorist cunt shit cause if you have it's not gonna look good in court well we're a bunch of idiot cunts and we didn't know that Mr Clark who's been in Email contact for over a year and who's posted many times his winning certificate. We didn't know cunt all about it. Well, I think if we didn't know cunt all about it, and we fucking ignored Mr. Clark's very many appeals rah, for some cunt to video chat with him. Rah, and we thought it was all a big joke. Rah, disabled person. Rah, for over a year. Rah, been contacting us in email. Rah, and we didn't know cunt about it. Well, Mr. Clark thinks if that's the case, you cunts shouldn't be running Facebook. You've got your head so up your fucking ass, you're as arrogant fucked pigs that think, Oh, it's all right to wind up a disabled person. <laughs> good office jokes, you know. <laughs> we have a good laugh in the office. Yeah, that stupid cunt Graham Clark is still paying money to these Nigerian scam cunts that have been impersonating us. And yet we reckon we didn't know fuck all about it. How do we think this is going to turn out in court? We don't give a fuck that Graham Clark is a hell's angel. And that he's already indicated to California Hells Angel. Could they pop in and see a Kate Tim? Or any other cunt that supposedly got something to do with a lottery? And inform us whether he has actually won a lottery or he's been a gist of our joke. We've had a good laugh about it round the offices of Facebook. But like every joke, it comes to an end. There are many cunts here amongst us who think life is but a joke. But me and you have been through that, and that is not our fate. Let's not talk softly now. But the hours is getting late. Wow.
I don't know who that was. <laughs> I channel all sorts of entities. Um, oh, a, a trip. My brother, David Clark, is a hell's angel. Right. And he was initiated or brought into the brotherhood in prison. And he was an LSD sacramental distributor and a marijuana distributor. And he again turned on these hell's angels in prison. And uh, he comes through me. He is my gatekeeper. And any decent house angel knows that there's no debt. They will accept that. And so again, I'm just asking the house angels for assistance. I think I need you to try to collect a debt from Mark Zuggerbugger and Facebook who, as I have just had channeled through me for over a year, have been having emails from me, which I've got here, and either they think it's some kind of sick joke, which actually what the channeling is, many here amongst us, you think that life is but a joke. Well, that's what appears these cunts are that run Facebook. Immature, stupid little cunts who have been at my expense having a good laugh. Yeah, going car, yeah. He's still sending money where we've been telling him. Nigeria. Oh, I've got loads of names in here. To you, the Hell's Angels. I've got names and addresses of people in Nigeria, America, that I sent money to, under the pretense that these are supposedly Facebook employees. I've got all the list, because uh, I was sending me, I look, Bank Zenith Bank. Can't even pronounce his name. Well, I've got his account number, Stephen. Nineteen. Street. Osun, Nigeria. I can show you there. Only quickly. And I won't say I've got hundreds of names. But I've got enough to legitimately, if it's genuine, Supposedly, the Nigerian government has offered a reward for anybody that can have these cunts banged up. Oh, God. oh a lot of you, I'm afraid, this is a prophetic word, are going to be killed in resisting arrest. All right. Because the Nigerian government aren't going to fuck about, and nor how's angels going to fuck about. If I have any command capacities, and that's up to the angels, I will insist. No, you don't go in there and physically confront these cunts, right? This is me, right? Fucking just nap on the cunts. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, these people, one thing in their little distorted religious beliefs get it the idea of being burnt alive literally you're putting them into hell and it these new napalm missiles um are that they're the easiest way i can describe them they're a cruise missile so they're very concise and small perfectly guided weapon do not destroy property What's the word now? Very low, whatever factor, because their actual um, means of delivery is white hot napalm. Now, these things have been designed 
to uh, insulate and take out bunkers. Piece of piss. Bunkers have doors. Couple of these on the doors, and that's the door sealed to fuck. But not only that, the heat continues to go right through the bunker. Couple of them at the other end, and as they're called, yeah, this is their nickname. Again, this is in the spirit. Could be a couple of months up the road. I don't know. Cosmic humor. I'm not God. I'm just a prophet of God. And prophecies have a lot of factors. And the major factor is President Trump. I'm not on some power trip. President Trump is God's overseer. And all these cunts that are slagging off President Trump you're going to get your commands. I'm not saying you're going to get a cruise missile up your cunt ass, but your, your days are fucking numbered because it is going to be revealed soon that you are, as President Trump has indicated, a bunch of lying cunts. And this includes the media, biggest bunch of lying cunts there is, right? So sorry, going back in the drift. Red. So, you, Mr. Zuggerbugger, as far as I'm concerned, you owe me 750,000 US dollars lottery prize plus a Toyota car. Now, your only way out of this is, well, I knew nothing about this. Yeah, 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 all right, but even on that axiom, <clears throat> again, this would be up to the uh, American people to decide how much compensation do we think Mr. Graham Clark's due because for over a year he has been toing and throwing via emails to who he thought was Mark Zuggerbugger, Kate Tim, fucking the other cunt as well, admin, right? When in reality, these were Nigerian cunt shit terrorists. Well, it's not my fault, Mr. Zuggerbugger, that you haven't bothered and still haven't bothered to instigate insurance against such things. Insurance against people like me, I fit that category, that have brought goods on Facebook and never received them. Well, all the other reputable online on sales people, get it? eBay, come to mind, you heard of them, have you? <laughs> Amazon, you heard of them? <laughs> well, they have insurance. And a customer like me that buys something on Amazon Within days, we have our money refunded, and rightly so, it's up to Amazon to take it up with the fraudulent dealer. Generally, they just kick them out on a cunt ass. And generally, people don't do that because they fucking lost their business. But I brought something from your Facebook, if again, and uh, it's never come, and it's actually an electrified wheelchair. Now, that's a trip. Yeah, the sort of people that are getting ripped off on Facebook are disabled people. You see it all the time, these little adverts, state-of-the-art fucking wheelchairs and all this shit, and then it's found that they're a fucking scam. You don't tell me at Facebook, you haven't sussed this out, and you've had complaints but you've obviously never acted upon them. Well, this goes to all of you at Facebook. You're not fit to run Facebook. Because if that's your attitude, never mind me being fucked around for a year, that's bad enough. But I'm talking about ordinary folk who have purchased goods from Facebook and they've never come. And you've got no insurance policy. Again, we repeat ourselves as reputable online sales bodies have. Repeat, eBay has insurance. Rare. Amazon has insurance. Rare. 
and you do if you have any trouble on Amazon you'll get an instant refund but you don't seem to offer that I mean uh, what is your function in Facebook well it originally was to link people together fine so what the fuck are you fucking about selling goods on there for if you're not probably set up there must be regulations about this yeah to protect the public well you can't set up a fucking thing unless you've got insurance right so that anyone that might get ripped off right, is reimbursed well i don't see you laughing so much facebook star looking a bit serious Oh, you don't need to worry about the Hells Angels coming in there and kicking the fuck out of your Menlo Park bank. That isn't the way Hells Angels work. Yeah, I know your bank. And I could, in theory, send a few Hells Angels in there as debt collection officers. And you try telling them with your smirky little faces. <laughs> it's all a boring diary, big diary. Smack! woman man dog cow whatever the fuck you are you speak to that like that to a hell's angel and you're dead get it so wake up now i go around the circle my brother was and is a hell's angel so about it and i have turned on hell's angels myself i've mentioned two chapters all england chapter stonehenge and the freaky few the freaky few are not a major concern for you because it's all they fucking are fuck me but i don't think they're based in america or well, you don't want to fuck with a freaky few right here's a story about the freaky few again at stonehenge might not oh it was the same festival because i'm on my bike same bike kar 717y and the freaky few were a small chapter probably about 20 25 members but i've spent the evening with a freaky few in rock city i think i shared about that now so we're mates that's right i treat them as my equal and they treat me as their equal bastards and i had to have two again i had two little girlfriends that were infatuated by me because i didn't finish out an actual pop star oh yeah i sung on stage and i blew every cunt's mind including all the musicians that were there who the fuck's this cunt because i'd just come out of retreat so no cunt knew me and that's the way God uses me. I can disappear for years. Like now, I'm in low profile mode, get it? Don't have any cunts, don't have friends, rare. Go down the shop, rare. Buy some stuff, and that's it. Well, I've got my godchildren and that, you know, and you know, that's it. No actual physical contact. Matty and me have never physically met. So all you cunts that have been spreading sexual lies to the effect that I'm fucking Matty and all that, you've got it coming. I've never met Matty. Now, not as if that's a big deal. I do find Matty. That's another trip. But the trip is you've been lying and misaligning an agent of God then. We put that on you. That's right. Of course this happened to jesus didn't it let me kiss my cunt ass i see a pattern here jesus christ was maligned slandered did hear words he never heard in the bible by gossiping cunts like you right but the trip is the angelic kingdom oversee everything and everyone I don't need to know your names, who you are, where the fuck you are. I just need to put out an intention. Blessed angels, I'm sick of these slandering cunts. 
can you please remove them from my life? End the story. Now, angels can be angels can be angels. Get it? It can be spiritual angels. Yeah. And it can be physical angels. Yeah. The command goes out the same. So angels have now had that intention and I've asked, of course, it's only ask, as I've told the angels. Not even Jesus Christ will tell you what to do. So just a ring me the ears of those people that were there. He will ask. So I've just asked. Blessed angels. It could be hell's angels. It can be actual angels, if you follow me, not in a... Uh, a physical form or whatever. And they will follow the command if they feel it's appropriate. Chain of command. Any angel can tell me to fuck off and I wouldn't bat an eyelid. And so they shouldn't bat an eyelid if I tell them to fuck off. Now that is special, but yeah. Angel comes to me and ask me to do something. It's a double way trip. I, oh, I'd probably say, no, nah, look, I'd rather not do that. Thank you very much. In fact, I would, you know, because I wouldn't. I do respect the angels. And he would have to accept that. That's the golden rule. You ask to receive. And I've got a perfect excuse. Hi, professionally, you know, waffling in the spirit, probably to wind you cunts up. Angel comes to me and says, oh, we'd like you to take this cunt out, please. And I would say, well, I have got this bad leg. I'm sort of released from soldier, if you like, fisty cuff come swords, axe come fucking whatever else duties. And that's the trip. I'm classed as a wounded soldier. I have got a blood clot in my leg. And so um, it wouldn't be fair to put me in, shall we say, a physical exchange from some able-bodied cunt, even though I might have an axe or a sword, right? Well, I could, actually, but that's another chip. Oh, I could get a gun. Brilliant film. Yeah, brilliant film. It's classic. So, um, yeah, there's this guy, two people, Right, one's, if you like, a long-haired angel character, right? And the other's this kung fu expert. You probably know that. Hey, 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 yeah, yeah. And the guy's just looking at him. Right? Hey, yeah. Bang! Double bow, 12 ball in the bollocks. All over. Oh, yeah. None of this shit on her. You know, and that's what that cunt was into. I'm challenging you to a kung fu fight, and I'm going to blow your bollocks away with a trail boy, you stupid cunt. That's really funny. It's so many. Hey, 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 yeah, hey, 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 and the guy just sat there, well, stood there, click, click, bang. And the cunt does go back, because you do do when you get a double barreled uh, shotgun loaded with special pellets. You do actually fly back. Anyway, I digress. I'm not really um, keen to get into physical confrontation. And so, blessed angels, you'll know I think I need some protection. Oh, I can't put you up here. Right, trip. Yeah. I, I can't, this is sacred space in it, so we'll, we'll, we'll take that wish down a few pegs. I would like you, though, blessed angels, if you're near to uh, Mark Zuckerberg's bank, that's Banky Ace, Menlo Park, California, um, this is a plight inquiry, uh, how have you worded? I mean, I can make you officially my debt collectors, but it's a catch-22. These cunts probably might not owe me £750,000, although they've been aware of this situation, 
and it is actually, as the FBI have indicated, um, Nigerian fucking terrorist filth scam cunt shit that has been masquerading as Mark Zubecker. Now, on this angle, I'd say about eight or ten times I've implied this, and I've got it all in my emails. Are you sure you're not being hacked? Why? Uh, things like Mr. Graham. Get it? So he didn't have the knowledge, it's actually Mr. Clark. Get it? Hello, Mr. Graham. Well, yeah, that stood out. These are not well educated people who know the English language, and yet they're purporting to be there. You know, America, yeah, yeah, yeah. And this goes through Kate Tim, you know, similar sort of grammatical mistakes and uh, constantly breaking their word. Uh, up sky. I'll oh, get back to you in eight hours' time. So it's all wind up and ego power trips. And then they didn't get back to me in eight hours' time. Now that isn't how you treat customers. And as you angels know, your word is your bond. And I do. I try, like, fucking move hell and ha waters to get to an appointment on time. And if I fucking can't make it, I phone up. Hi, I'm afraid I've been held up. Not leave the cunt sat there, and this is the trip they're playing with me. Get it? Their sick idea of a joke. Get it? So possibly, blessed angels, all these people in Facebook haven't been in contact with me, but it's Nigerian filth, scam, cunt shit, get it? That has been masquerading as them. But you can ascertain this for me, and I'll be eternally grateful, is just to pop in and say hi, uh, you say I'm representing a Graham Clark from Scotland and he's contacted us because you, or get it, Facebook has told him he's won 750,000 US dollars and a Toyota Highland car estimated then a, a cash figure of 800,000 US dollars. Can you see someone about this? Take a tape recorder in, whatever. Say you having to write it all up. Take in a, there you are, video it. Take in an iPhone, there you go, best fucking camera you got. Or you can just click, 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 click. Um, yeah. One of the best ways of using this is so that you can go live straight into Facebook. But it will also just record a video as a video and you will have to process it and whatever to then send it into or via Facebook. So it's a bit of a thing, but yeah. Because well, not you could ask them, uh, <laughs> oh, are they going to say no to you? Oh, you don't mind if I video this um, exchange? Um, what's the password for your, because um, they will have video in there, you know, like, oh, what do you call it, fucking broadband there. Then you just, it's a piece of piss. Then, you get the password, you're in, and you go into Facebook Live. Yeah, it's actually broadcast live, because that is their thing, get it? Their members will see you in their bank's office and every other motherfuck of what went on and what was said. I don't think they're going to turn around and tell you to fuck off, get it? You know what I mean? And I say fucking idiots, but so you'll be treated with courtesy and you don't push it. Oh, well, but will you imagine a shit in their knickers? Oh, uh, uh, Kate Tim's not here. Oh, fine. Well, is there some cunt we can speak to? I say anybody. And then, of course, it's all being videoed. Uh, uh, they're away and uh, they're in Canada and they're on the other and they're lying to fuck. Well, you don't kick their heads in at that, because, again, you filmed it. Oh, I see. And then, as well, professional debt collectors, you leave like a calling card. Well, okay, this is our card, 
And um, no, you even do another number. Okay, when can someone see us? Get it? Um, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, and it's filmed. Uh, two hours. Oh, fine. You don't mind if we wait. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> so you just sit down and wait. How many of their customers you think have shit out the fucking door? How many cunts have called the police, but you're doing nothing illegal? Get it? Oh, you don't go in there with fucking axes and, you know, you don't need to do that. You're doing it, in my imagination, as professional debt collectors. And I do know Hells Angels chapters. This is one of their legitimate businesses. So we're looking for a chapter in California. That actually be, but who does and has set up their own authorized debt collectors then you as an authorized debt collector contact me and i give you whatever authorization you need and of course i'm going to be on track now but i pathetically right on the positive outcome is yes i have won this money um but they can't release it to you without my... Oh, she's right. So I can soon get that to you. I'm telling you now. I will, if that's the scenario, authorize you to pick up my 750,000 US dollars plus the Toyota hybrid car. Again, worth 50,000 if they're going to... Whatever. And you, obviously, just tell me what percentage you would normally charge as long as i feel you're not ripping me off that's it then it's a legally binding contract then if the police are called uncle tom cobbly fucking president trump or anything you're legitimately there you're doing your job and if they're lying to you and fobbing you off you call the media in never mind them shit in their knickers get it oh you know you got me yeah, see, yeah, we're such and such debt collection. We're here to collect £750,000, and we feel we're being lied to. So give them a bit of rope, let them lie, although you know they are. Get it? Then it's notched up to media. We don't need to tell them their job. You've given them your side, and then they've got to give you their side. And you know the fact. Because I send you the certificate. Oh no, Mr. Clark was told he received this money on such you show him the certificate on such and such a date. You also tell them, oh, Mr. Clark's got um hundreds of emails from either Mark Zuckerbucker, fucking Kate Tim, Uncle Tom Cuntley, and all. And Mr. Clark has got names and addresses of people that he was asked to send money to that are probably a bit suspicious. People based in Nigeria. Oh, and Mr. Clark also has... Yeah, it's the old joke, isn't it? This is the Black Book. Names of the various contacts, not now, I'm not saying there's hundreds of them, but more importantly, Mr. Clark has a record. Oh, I'm on there. Rare, can't find the fuckers. Come on, Graham. Oh, there you go. No, let's get another one. It's all around here. Talk amongst yourself. Um, Mr. Clark has a complete record of all the Amazon cards he sent to Facebook and whatever they did with them is up to them. And the trip was um, that he would send them just the numbers of the cards. They didn't actually send the cards, get it? But I just sent them the numbers of the cards. Get it? I can't fucking find one. I've done it. Always fucking happens. Oh, there you go. Final numbers. Oops. Yeah, wrong way. There, final numbers. But that's July. Yeah, 2019. And... So I've recorded every single face uh, Amazon card that was sent them and the number. Now, I've been in touch with Amazon, 
They won't. I'm the sender, get it? Oh, we can't tell you who's cashed it. Yeah. Confidentiality. But they fucking tell the FBI, get it, or any legal body that then gets involved. But you will still get the reward. Get it? It'll be you that will be exposing these terrorists. Ah! Bear me, and we can split the reward. Because I've been told there's actually a cash reward for anyone who does successfully get these people locked up or shot resisting arrest. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of people want these cunts taken out. And don't you worry, the Nigerian police aren't going to put themselves at risk. I've been a bit dramatic. I'm not saying they come with fucking fuse missile, <laughs> but they come with very, very high, you know, like a missile launcher, this sort of shit. They won't fuck about with little machine guns and that. And they probably won't give them much warning. Hello, you cunts in there, okay? Yeah, we're looking for fucking Walla Walla cunt brain and fit cunt shit cunt brain, okay? Are you coming out? Okay. Oh, whatever they say. I'm not going to risk my um, troops, police. You cunts ought to get out here in two minutes flat or we're going to fucking flatten you. Okay. Bazooka sort of shit, you know what I mean? Just blow the fuck out of them. Yeah. Because they don't want to risk their lives, and rightly so. I've got a brilliant imagination. I ought to write books and films. It's been a gift I've had since I was a child. I was first taught how to channel by an English teacher who would just come into the class and say, quote, right, I now want you all to write a composition, and that's a story, get it, about this. You've got an hour to do it, right? I would instantly have, because that's channeling, the whole plot of the fucking story would just flash in, and I might have to take about 45 minutes to write it up. Puh! And that was channeling. I didn't know that then. Get it? And I've been attributed, this is the latest trip, well, it's true. I'm a direct descendant of William Wordsworth on my mother's side. My mother was very proud of this. Her name was Marsh. Again, all this can be checked. And I'm a direct descendant of William Wordsworth, the poet laureate. Now, I could ask my gatekeepers and whatever, you know, is William Wordsworth coming through me? But that'd be glamouring it. But I, two pounds of fucking six and kiss my cunt ass, can quite easily imagine that's true because at times I can become very literate, although I'm dyslexic. But when I move into um, automatic writing mode, which is often these things. Mark Zubecker, CEO, Facebook, question marks. Right, that's like a concept for the channeling, but of course it can go here, there, and everywhere, man. Yeah. But it's something I can come back to or must come back to to end it. Get it? So I've done all this other stuff about Willy Willy and mind fucks and Adolf Hitler and fucking all the rest of it, right? But I must, well, end up with that cover that topic and that topic is yeah you'll have covered that really mark zuckerbucker did a personal email from me saying i'm in the process of changing banks which i am i can't do that in there but i'm gonna well i'm gonna contact the nationwide bank online and find out a that they can well obviously off me a bank account but can I have a credit card? And tell them my circumstances, now I'm a disabled pensioner, that is how much I get a week, and I shouldn't be discriminated because I'm a pensioner and disabled. Yet the Bank of Scotland do. 
Get it? They're just looking for rich motherfuck cunts. And yet here's your trip. It's our fucking money. It's all these banks that get arrogant and in their ears are graces. They need cutting down a few flags. It's our money, you cunts. So don't come your heirs and graces with me. Get it? You wouldn't have a job if it wasn't for people like me. It's not your money. And in fact, on that note, you have fucked up miserably recently. Taking our money and not wisely investing it. And we, the people, had to bail you cunts out. And that's a fact. Whether you're Walla 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 Bank, Fuck Brain Cunt and the Shitheads Bank, Royal Bank of Scotland Bank, Fucking Bank of Scotland, right? A whole lot of them. Well, there might be a few banks. Probably a nationwide didn't. See, so they are just a little bank. And they, uh, yeah, we'll find out when I link in later because I've been recommended to go to them. And they will give me an ordinary bank account. They will, whenever you change bank accounts, go over all the direct debits for you, reset them up and tell them that from now on, can you send your things to nationwide account number whatever is Walla Walla cunt brain kiss my cunt ass, get it? And I can do things like Amazon. I've just done it. That's a piece of piss. You go onto Amazon and there's a little thing that says new card. Well, um, because obviously constantly people are changing their card. And I just put in a new card. That's my main source for a rare uh, co-op won't need to know my new bank. Get it? Because it's just the machine and that's it. As long as it's a valid account, that's it. So that's not a problem. Um, any online, really, eBay would probably, yeah. Um, PayPal. Well, I've just done that, but yeah. <clears throat> they got a facility and you can select which card you want and they've already got your new card. So just click that. Just done that. I've just sent money to Matty and it's still under a previous card. So I've just had the card change. And it's just a matter of clicking the door. Done. Ba boom. Uh, well, it is. We go round to the trip, sorry. My trip is, can you please, this is any Hells Angels chapter near California, and I will target this there. Ah, I'm asking you please to pop into Bank Key, it's B A K I, Banky A C, Menlo Park, California. <laughs> Now, you might have to contact me first. You know, obviously, you're, you're professional workers. Okay, Mr. Clark, um, we realise your situation, but we do have, well, I'm just talking a minimum fee. But you can adjust the fee. Get it? Well, if we send in four angels, it's going to cost this. But seeing as it's just an initial inquiry, we're not technically picking up the money, get it? We, we will just charge you this. And we do this, you know, waffling it, at quite a reasonable fee. It's just the initial inquiry, but you must do this to authorise us. Why? You ring the cunts up. Yeah. Hello, you've got an official phone number, such and such, such and such, California. Uh, we've been contacted by Graham Clark. You can cloak my number, get it, and that. And he's asking... Us, can we verify that he has actually been awarded a lottery prize of $750,000 and a Toyota Highlander car? Hmm. Can you verify that over the phone, please? And they might say, well, you haven't, you, if you're professional, you've got all that. You know, you can say, well, that's my number. It's on We Are Registered Debt Collectors. Whatever else, because of course this is your job, so you know how to deal with this. Yeah, they need you to, you probably have your own card issued. Yeah. And that card, as a matter of fact, 
authorizes you to carry a weapon just as a matter of point but you've got to be registered and you can quote that number at them so you've got fantastic imaginations for your bollocks well whatever it entails that you convince these people you are authorized debt collectors and you're making an authorized request on behalf of graham clark now they could pull that trip oh well we got to ask mr clark well they've got my contact deals i'll give you that oh his email is gampa g h a m p a 77 at gmail.com his personal phone number is which they've got oh one three four three eight four two five six seven he doesn't generally give out his mobile number because i never use the fucker right and um that should be enough we can bring the cunt up now of course time differences and i just of course it was yeah hello uh, it's menlo park man yeah, yeah and uh we've got these they wouldn't call you hell's aim debt collectors here blah 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 flashy company name oh yeah they are working on my br and if this is a positive response meaning they have got this winnings money in there oh i like to authorize that they pick it up please and then they would have to do, well there you go see got them oh you can video cam me you know what the fuck i look like i've been in contact with you over a year you cunts that's it video chat perfect hundred percent proof source and see all this all my videos are done with this hundreds of them right oh mr clark video chat with you right now yeah and so i get some while i cunt on the video phone and they can ask, well they can see me right that's it but um i see so can we reiterate this yeah. you are authorizing because see we're going off on a trip here and it's not needed these these angels are actually authorized debt collectors so they've got licenses and shit and proof and that's their job they're professionals so very quick process of authorizing them to pick up my money of course they sign for it but then i can do this number on them well look um can you just wire that money now to my bank account so the angels don't pick up the money it's wired and they get a receipt said so done the 50 whatever dollars thousand dollars wired to my well that's the chip i'm changing my bank but that's it so the only physical thing is my toyota car and they obviously they would have to sign for that the keys and any other documentation and then it will be removed um possibly from the toyota dealer and they will park it up somewhere safe i've got my money wired me and i'll say well look can you keep it there three or four days and i'll fly over and pick the cunt up myself and pay you whatever you do now that's all hypothetical of course it is but if we go on the other tra- trip right no i'm afraid that we don't know anything about this and it looks like your customer's been scammed oh well you could just put in at that point well actually he says he's got over 200 emails but okay so where do we go from here that's right where do we go from that point well i should have some protection and compensation due me and it isn't my fault the cunts aren't insured for it, which they should be. So again, hypothetically, you as a debt collector agent, so you've come to that juncture, well, you being professional would know again a phone call away. Probably a nap in that morning, it probably has happened quite a few times, I should think. Oh, uh, hello, you know, we've got this uh, customer here. And he was scammed and told he'd won seven hundred fifty thousand pound in a thing and whatever. And this went on for over a year. Eh? Um, how do we instigate legal proceedings against Facebook? 
hoped it does go in front of some kind of legal proceedings and Joe Public makes the decision, although ultimately the judges and that will make the decision of what are the compensation, or jury does, whatever. And they decide how much is Mr. Clark due for over a year. I mean, the trip that comes to mind is gross negligence by Facebook. So you're saying, even though this went on for over a year, and all the time that Mr. Clark was posting publicly on Facebook, he posted the winning certificate many times, right? You never got to hear about this, and no one from Facebook got back to me. Hello, Mr. Clark. Um, you've just posted this winning certificate, rare, for lottery money, rare. Well, I'm afraid to tell you this is a complete scam. Oh. Been the same scenario the next thing was, well, I feel I'm due compensation, don't you? But now we're coming to a year later. Because even though that is their defence, Again, it'd be up to a jury to decide. Well, so they never, in a whole year and all the time, Mr. Clark posted this fictitious winning certificate. That email, well, again, nothing was done officially. Mr. Clark should have been told. Well, of course he should, because over this year he's been paying money to scam artists, cunts. Get it? So, I mean, if it's that, well, we're looking at, say, £4,000 off the top of my head. But that should be straightforward awarded to me and some kind of compensation, if that is the scenario. But the tip is, I'm in the air. Why? No one from Facebook's actually coming back to me. In a video chat, I've got a couple of names and they've all bottled out. And they're actually set up through um, uh, some video chat thing. Whatever. Can't think of it now. So I've got them, but I can go there and they're all out to lunch. No one's come back. Once one lady came back and she fucked off as quick as hell. So basically she went to answer it. Didn't notice it as me, but as soon as she saw it as me, she fucked right off. Yeah. Gone. Out the fucking lunch. And Zuckerberg has said none of his, not to contact any of his staff. Because they have, they've been really confusing the issue and all trying to get their little ego trip in. You know what you imagine? You're meant to be a millionaire. And so you get people sucking up to you. Oh, I smell it a mile away. Yeah. It got to one instant where it looked like my, it was going to be delivered. Then I'm emailed. And they meant to get this. They're meant to be on the airstrip and about to take off, get it, with my winnings. But they've got 200 quid they've got to pay. So that's your carrot bait. Oh, we're actually here on the airstrip. And we're ready to take off to fly. Uh, there you go, from Menlo Park. That's where it came off the starting point, right? The bank. Um, to the international airport. Yeah, LA airport. But they wanted a couple of hundred quid. Something about no petrol in the car. I mean, for fuck's sake. It could have been true. But at least they didn't get the money. But that was one instant. Get it? And then the times I've been told, well, if you just pay this, the winnings will be, quote, with you in two days' time. Now, the latest trip is, quote, an activation fee. So I've paid all this money to have the money physically delivered to me. Now, that entails an IMF check, an FBI got their fee, 
the customs have their fucking backhand a thousand pound right all on the context a car and uh 750,000 us dollars are going to be physically shipped to me no chance to uh, get it although i suggested this or whatever there's no money in that it costs fuck all to chance a million pounds to sort of me head to and bang why are you going to get the fucking interest as soon as that money lands in their account they're earning money rare so you can it's like a minimal fee you know 20 quid or something ridiculous like that off come on grand initially i was told this is going to cost you 600 quid yeah. again because i'm naive of course and you think it through you're just an ordinary joe blogs and suddenly you're talking about high finance and transferring money and all this shit and of course it's all alien to you and then eventually you do wise up and learn well like i did i shouldn't pay 600 quid these cunts are doing it for 20 and could see the trip in it if i'm going to send them seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars they get the interest it's more than enough they're not going to stitch me up for the transfer fee because again it's competitive so if they charge 50 and some cunt says 30 who's going to get the job right it so they cut it right down to minimum on that sort of transaction so they go to the bank bank says well yes he is entitled to this they prove that they are my legally appointed representatives of course i have to sign for it and then the money is wired and i can then start buying things straight away and the car again can be what's the cheapest way well i can say to them no can you keep it in america and i'll come and pick it up there and i'll probably set up some kind of base there so the car will be left in america and it will only be and i'll just get a smaller car a similar hybrid and that here i mean that's not a big deal is it owning two cars fucking hell what some of these cunts do have you know five fucking properties but i'm not sure where i'm going with that you see where am i intent well i've got matty who's in the philippines and although they've just had all this volcanic eruption the philippines is amazing it's loads of little islands i've got a thing about islands well they are they're, they're unique and you could have some islands and you've got a policeman on it get it yeah yeah yes sir <laughs> they share a plea yeah yeah but that in the chip there is an issue to do with my interest in marijuana but I'm successfully making a medicine based on CBD marijuana. And, um, but I will certainly introduce various appeals to the um, Thailand, wherever they are and whatever they are, that, that research is conducted into the medicinal uses of marijuana. So open the gates for medicinal marijuana to be eventually allowed because that would fit my bill you know i use marijuana as my medicine and no trouble getting a doctor to verify that you know oh, it's a painkiller yeah rare, whatever um so yeah the philippines could be because i've got rest my family my only family what no one here in scotland get it is in the philippines and that's matty and the five kids um so where do you go you go to your family don't mean i definitely stay there but i could probably set up some kind of home where i can come and stay but it'll be matty's permanently and the kids but there's like a room you know bedroom whatever where i can pop in and stay you should do that anyway the god when you pop and stay with your relatives for a month or so um, but I've also got contacts you see in Thailand. Both very cheap places to live. 
and you can get in Thailand, well, it's probably anything you can get. Very hard to buy property in Thailand because of all the men that have been over there and fucked women, got them pregnant and fucked off, to put it in layman's terms. But yeah, that's gone on a lot. Um, but you can get a property on what's called a 99-year lease. It's good as owning it because it's yours for 99 years, get it? You can't be slung out unless you're going really silly. And you can sell it. So, so you've been there 20 years, it will still have a 70-year lease on it. So that's still worth for some people. You know, well, I'm going to be dead before, so, you know, it's perfect. But that's how you can get a property in Thailand, very cheap and reasonable, because you take it out on a lease. So that is feasible. I could have some kind of little home set up for Matty, but it's a place I can visit occasionally, right? It? A proper nice home, because some of our homes have been flattened by fucking storms. So it'll be a well-structured home, right? And the kids never need to worry about their home being flattened. <laughs> I can imagine it. No, I shouldn't laugh. Imagine being a little kiddie of eight or nine and your fucking home's just been trashed. You know, it's your space. And now you're sharing your space with some sister or uncle, get me, but it's not the same as just being with your mum. Of course it isn't. But bless them. You know, the children are good as gold. I'm actually yawning. Uh, it's nearly it's nearly five o'clock and I do sort of have a meal which I haven't yet because I'm technically pushing I've got to watch last night uh I was up too late and you know if you do that you just go and get to sleep about four in the morning I do it especially if you're in front of computers uh, well I could have you learn these tricks had I just gone and had a shower that to wash my whole aura clean, get it, and all the stuff that's attached to me, eh, would have gone, you know how refreshing a shower is, and then I'd have been as fresh as fuck and got on that bed and dropped out like a fucking light, because I've had a shower. I didn't do that, but I should do that if it's catching up. Um, so I'm going to clear off now. Well, I'll just call it that, my Zuckerberger CEO Facebook. Well, I've covered various things. Thanks, Terry. Well, no one's actually joined. Hey, hold on. Okay. Well, I yeah. have. What's this? One, two, three, well, four, five. Matty's saying she's sad. Well, probably some of the earlier stuff. So. so five people have logged in to <laughs> I'm going to have some tea. I've got a boiled egg, two boiled eggs to quickly woof. Oh, whoa, getting excited there. Oven chips. And I've got my money in so I can go down the court and buy new food. You get the moment I've been eating, well, not dregs, but now I can get, well, I've got a lot of food, but, you know, get some fresh food in. Mouth watering now. So bye for now. God bless. Uh, yeah.